Rig Veda, this is the fifth course on Rig Veda. Always talking about Rig Veda. This is 90,000 year old, the slow cooked food. First time in my life I started to, my God, I was staying in the Tokyo guest house and the rain boys were there. So they brought the full chicken and they put it in the cooker and just left it like that with a small little butter on the base and small fire. And they were sitting and chit chatting. After 45 minutes, they opened it up, it's all broken into pieces. No. And that was the tastiest chicken, they said, because in that slow fire of 45 minutes, you don't have to pour water. From the chicken, the water comes out. You don't have to pour water. From the chicken, salt comes out. Yes, you don't have to put salt. And in the slow fire, from the bones, the oil comes out. And then it cooks with that oil. You know? And then when they come bring it to the dining table, they'll call, Raku, Raku, Indo, India, Masala. <laughs> I carry the garam masala, so they, they, they don't know how to cook. So they take my Indian garam masala, they sprinkle on the top. And, and first time in their life, they, they told me a truth or understood the truth that vegetables also, if you cook it in the smallest slow fire, from the vegetables, water, water is there in the vegetable, water comes out of the vegetable. Salt is there in the organic salt, pure, natural, from the nature. Salt comes out. And then it has got an oil, it cooks in that own oil. And that is the real soup, real uh, cooking. And when you understand, your taste buds understand the reality of that vegetable or that chicken. When you put a lot of masala, you don't understand the other reality and uh, uh, your taste buds keeps dying. Hence, I am suspecting uh, people, husband to wife, they don't understand each other unless there is a lot of masala. They understand only the masala, but the real taste to the wife, real taste to the husband, man and the woman, Family to family, family to joint family, joint family to family tree, got disconnected. Rig Veda said one should perform karma with non-challenge without expecting the benefits because sooner or later one shall definitely get the fruits. Definitely. You are hurry buddy to put that masala because in the materialistic world is full of masala. Yes, full of masala. <laughs> frightening of muscle and people get trapped. One should perform karma, keep doing your work, yes. And that was just samskriti of every culture. If you are in a culture, if you are in a family, and if you are a real human being, if you are living life and not dead like Swami Vivekananda, so people are walking like dead bodies, remove the dead bodies and you become a little conscious. Then if you are conscious, then you have to perform, you have to perform that you and your wife and the children wakes up morning 4.30 or 5.30, early morning. Together you will clean the house, light the lamp, sing a bhajan and wait for the Surya, the sun to come. Look at the sun and the, do the Surya Namaskar and then you see if the sun from where far away. How far is the light can hit? If the light can hit here, if the sun can hit the light here, we can give the light back to the sun. What can we do? Like, what benefit we can get it from that? That understands the solar and solar lights everywhere. First time you can see that far, you can hear that far. The moment you are not conscious to see that far and uh, do your Surya Namaskar and convert your house to the solar, then all your karma becomes no force. Then you start cheating. Then the whole of materialistic world in the cities become cheat to cheat. If you're not a cheat, if you don't act like a cheat, behave like a cheat, 
then they will trample you to death like what happens to rapun school the neighbors are acting like gangsters and then they join hands with the authorities what all we made the robbed what is the difference between a big pocket and these people you have your own money and pick they pick pocketed and i we worked hard with the public to build up rakum school and they want to destroy they want to grab they are throwing mud into my children's uh, food like <laughs> whether it's a one should perform karma non challenge with your expecting benefits because sooner or later one should definitely definitely you must walk. you must work hard don't worry don't worry the fruits will follow you yes that's what rigveda has always told you and if you don't listen to this one who has the basic like the in the japanese interview you go and they say sing a song and you think sing a song i came for a engineering engineer post and for a uh, uh, doctor post you asked me to sing a song this no 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 you just sing your mother tongue whatever is your mother tongue. that song I said no I do not know to sing then they say no your interview is over you can go back because if you do not respect your own culture you have not practice your own culture you will not practice in this company you will not send in the, this company this fag this um, uh, this uh, city and this country you are a waste yes you cannot even help your wife or a husband or your or your family your wish together when you practice you know the karma you can understand you are practice without looking into the fruits and the fruits are powerful because the family which the uh, practices together voices together the voice together yes is powerful when you are together nobody will break you when you are alone rigveda you know, said one should perform karma with should you should perform your karma every day morning with the non challenge expecting benefit because sooner or later one shall definitely get the fruits that makes the beautiful this is beauty